Hey guys, welcome back to Eating with Aldine. Thank you for joining me for another food vlog. So today we're in Trinidad and we're gonna be going to a market up in Aranguas. We're gonna be getting some shit. We're gonna be picking up some roti skin, some curry mango, and we're gonna be throwing down some curry goats. So stay tuned to this vlog. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and thank you guys. It's Eating with Aldine. You want it, wanna know I get an inside this group got me Looking for the lover Tell me Tell me how you feeling now I got that good love and running out the door And I know they'll be coming back for me pak choy looks when you buy it in the store so that you guys can compare it to the organic one we saw from my uncle's garden the other day this one's just a bit bigger look at all this shadow benny so this is how shadow benny looks with the root and all attached it smells amazing again it smells just like cilantro but sh uh, stronger so it's also called sawtooth herb or culantro and then we have lettuce there's some callaloo right here Pineapple, tomatoes, plantain and green banana. <laughs> Bitter melon, Bodhi. Love me some smoked herring, some salt fish, yes. Look at all this pumpkin. Okay, let's make sure we have what we need. Tomatoes, pepper, shadow benny, ginger, pimento, onion, Potato, garlic, limes, pumpkin. Uh, we just need, we need, oh, he's grabbing it. We need some scythe. Scythe was the last thing, yeah. Wait, show me this. It's how they bunch it up, how they sell it. So you guys always sell it already bunched with time like that? Yep. That comes in handy. All the preserve snacks, mango chow, preserved plums, plum chow. So chow is when it's like pickled and um, spiced versus preserved. It's exactly how it sounds, it's preserved. So preserved things tend to look reddish in color and chow tends to look more greenish. all types so there's cherries there's plums there's mangoes 
We like to preserve and pick all our fruits. So this is called chocho or Christophine. It's used in like soups and stuff. Bitter melon, bodhi, green banana, plantain, tomatoes, green peppers, cauliflower, carrots, cucumber, cabbage, eggplant or melangion, and fruits, grapes, apples, bananas, and then little baby bananas that are super sweet. Onions, onions, onions. Oh, this cabbage looks nice, it's so vibrant. Beets, broccoli, more turmeric. These are water chestnuts. What are they called in? Tipitango. Tipitango. Water chestnuts. And what are these ones? What's that? <laughs> is it like a fruit? Like how do you eat it? It's a fruit. It's a fruit, okay. And then tamarind. My baby. Make it five, right? Okay, so we got all of our shit from the grocery store, or excuse me, from the market in Rangues. We went to the grocery store that was just like around the corner and we picked up five pounds of goat. So we're now heading to grab some roti skins. We're gonna grab eight prata and one, sorry, we're gonna grab eight dal puri and one prata. So that's one bus of shot. And we're also gonna grab some curry mango. Low key, we're lost right now, but my uncle wouldn't admit it. <laughs> So now we're at some hole in the wall. Alright, you're buying one bus up shot. Alright? That'll serve about five people or eight people. Five. One bus up shot is not serving eight people. Not when I'm around. So now, because I was persuaded out of making roti by hand, because everyone in my family thinks it's too much trouble. And no one has a blasted tawa. Now we're buying the roti skins. And we're buying curry. Curry mango. And I'm being rushed. You tell us it's You didn't tell us it's Something with the M. Some street with the M. He's speaking really, really fast. He told me three roti places. Sylvie's something and something. But they all said Sylvie's was the best. So we just left the place that we got the roti skins from. I don't remember the name of it. But I will put it in the description box. So that took a while, but it's worth it because they make it right when you order. So I was actually watching them make the roti skins in the back. Um, so we picked up eight, and how many prata did you pick up? One large one. One large bus up shot and eight dal puri. So now we're just gonna. Now we're just gonna head back. We have the goat. We have all this stuff from the fresh market. We have the skins. We have the curry mango. So now we're gonna go back up in the hills and we're gonna cook it. Things there. So what do we have in here? Shadow Benny, garlic, sorry, Shadow Benny, ginger, pimento, onion, garlic, sive, hot pepper. Nice. Your face isn't in it. Do you want to be in it? No. So now this is going to all get... You were supposed to be doing this. Oh, God. So now this is gonna get blended up in here. I think the master should do it. I'm just a pupil today, I'm studying. Okay, 
Okay, make sure you guys notice the apron here, TNT aprons. I will put the link in the description box for where you can get those, support the ting. So now my uncle is mixing up the seasoning. And this is just making seasoning for the goat. And then to this he adds water and a bit of salt to just help it and black pepper just to help it liquefy so then you can use this to season a variety of things and you can keep this bottled in your fridge for a while you can add some vinegar if you want to it to help stabilize it a bit and that should extend the shelf life um, if you don't want it too acidic obviously you don't add the vinegar and the acidity from the vinegar plus the capsin from the pepper could be a bit too much if you're sensitive to that, so you don't want it too hot. So we're gonna just blend this up in a food processor. He's going to add his secret recipe. Dehydrated. Dehydrated what? Seasoning. So he has his own seasoning blend that he adds to his fresh seasoning. What type of dishes do you use this green seasoning for other than curry? Usually fish. Gotcha. So this is for the goat today and the fish tomorrow or just for the goat? This is this is green seasoning, so it's going to be for both. And just for both. I will add some curry for the goat to see. Gotcha. So this green seasoning is pretty universal. So we're gonna be using this to season some of the goat today. And then we're making fish later this week, which will be another food vlog. I think that'll be number four, because this is number three right now. Um, so yeah, this will be used to season that. It smells so good. The shadow Benny is really, really fresh. And now to blend everything up. If he knows how to work this food processor. Hashtag struggles. See how the consistency is looking and remember support TNT aprons I will put the link in my bio where you can get a dope apron like this the smell if you guys could smell through the phone oh man by the way the pepper that's in this is scotch bonnet pepper because I know at the market earlier we saw some scorpion pepper and I was talking a bit about that but this is scotch bonnet you can use scorpion pepper but it's hot as hell so all the good stuff so this is one little batch of green seasoning done Okay guys, so the first batch he made was a bit more liquidy, the second one he made was a bit more dry, and then he put them both back into the food processor and blended it again, and now I'm going to taste it. Mmm. 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 Has a lot of ginger. But it's not that bad. It's not as hot as you think. It's not hot. I, I yeah. Use, I use small peppers. I didn't use one of the big ones. This is really good. I've never had it with ginger in it before. This is good. Good job. The ginger is for the goat. For the goat, yeah. This tastes good. Let me finish this. So well, I let me... this every time I'm doing fish, mm -hmm. I make it fresh. So you need it fresh. I don't, I don't use this. I would use the, um, the 
chuckle. This is really good. I feel like you can't have Trini food without fresh green seasoning though. Yeah, so. Man, it's so easy to make. Very, very easy. Very easy. Once you have one of these things, a food processor or a mini chopper. Yeah, mini chopper. Mm. Just throw it in there. Like see? a magic bullet. Yeah. Yeah, a magic bullet. So if I wanted to make this even finer, I would take some and put it in the magic bullet. And blend it after. Really, really easy. But we don't need that. We cook in. This tastes really good. Well, thank you, man. Okay guys, so here we have the green seasoning done by TNT Aprons. So I will have some actual aprons for sale in Toronto. Um, they're about 25 Canadian, 150 TT, so holla at me. Again, I'll put all the info other than what you see here in the description box. So if you're in Trinidad, you can get those yourself. And if you're in Toronto, I will have some to sell. Yes, so here we have some green seasoning done. So we're going to add this to the goat with a little bit of curry powder. And we're also going to use this for our fish later this week. So now this one we added some curry powder to. So this one is going to be the goat blend because there is a bit more ginger and curry powder. So we use the beta pack curry powder which is Jamaican bra bra bra. Jamaican curry powder because you're making goat and you guys already know Jamaicans make curry goat the best no debate that's a given so yeah isn't this crazy with my Trini family I'm making Jamaican curry goat so my Jamaican mother would be very proud <laughs> are adding a bit we're more curry here the guys are all Caribbean we're all one doesn't matter what island you're from just make sure your food tastes best, otherwise don't offer it to people. <laughs> How many pounds of goat are we seasoning with this? Five pounds. Five pounds. So I will show you guys what the five pounds of goat looks like. Yes, so five pounds of goat cost us just under 200. And this is halal goat. This one tastes nice and clean, so we're going to have to wash this up real quick and then let this season for at least three hours it should have been more but we've been on the road all day so yeah okay so my uncle just put me on to washing goat with flour which I've never done I normally use lime or vinegar or vinegar and lime vinegar and lemon but I have actually heard of uh, washing with flour I think it's some Asian cuisines they wash their meat with flour as well or they wash it with salt to get rid of some of the grime and that first level of grit. And this is halal goat that we bought. I think I mentioned that in the clip before. So I'm gonna assume that the flour helps bind some of the dirt and the blood and other things that you want to rinse away because they kind of absorb into the flour and then you rinse it away. Hashtag wash your meat. Even if you only have water, that's better than nothing. Looking good. And now we're going to add that really good TNT apron seasoning on top of that. Okay, and the sink is just washed. So yes, people, you can wash your meat and wash your space after. I don't know... What type of nonsense thing people are talking about cross-contamination? Because those people don't wash their sink or their hands. Yep, clean up everything nice. So now our washed meat, our meat that is cleaned and washed, yes. We are adding our green seasoning that we amplified to our curry goat seasoning by adding a bit more curry powder to it and it has a bit more ginger in it. Like, look at that color. 
shout out to my camera quality upgrade because honestly you look at that and i'm filming this in 4k so i just i'm amazed at how clear this is yes so now my uncle's just gearing up with some gloves to get ready to dive into this yeah it's easier to do this with them with easy. your hands yeah so you can just throw away the gloves look at that color You should see how it looks on the camera. <laughs> it looks better than real life. Nice. All good to see? Hmm? All good to see who? All courtesy of my loving Uncle Kingsley. And TNT aprons. Hello. What does the apron say? Kiss a Trin Bagel Chef. <laughs> See that, guys? You have to wear the apron to get a kiss. So again, I will have the aprons for sale. And I'll have all the info in the description box. If you were in Trinidad, you can get them directly here on the island. And if you're in Toronto, I'll have some. So this video is sponsored by TNT Aprons. Yes. Just put your hand in there and season it with love. Perfect. Now we're going to let this marinate for a good few hours while we prep the other stuff. Okay guys, so I'm about to make the potato and chana. So here we have kind of like quintessential Trini seasoning. Shadow Benny, pimento, garlic, onion. I have my Dutch pot with some oil. We have the pumpkin here that is we're gonna stew. I am one. And then here's the potato and the chana. The chana. So we have aloo and chana. Excuse me, iron pots. My Jamaican keeps coming out in this Trini household. <laughs> and for those who didn't know, I'm half Trini, half Jamaican. That's why I keep referencing it because it's just interesting how things. Similar things have different names depending on where you're talking about. So I'm about to cook this up quickly and I will show you guys what's up in a sec. Hey guys, so right now I'm making this stewed pumpkin to go with all the other accoutrements for our roti line. So if you want to come, oh firstly, check out my other aprons, sponsored by TNT Aprons. Wine on a Trimbago Chef. <laughs> so now in here we have our potato, our aloo and chana that's cooking down, which smells amazing. Nice, nice color. Have to add the salt to this. And we're working on the stewed pumpkin. So inside of this pot, I have onion, pumpkin, and pimento. I'm gonna add the garlic now, because I didn't want the garlic to burn or get bitter. Personally, when I normally cook pumpkin, I, I normally add curry to it. But because we have a lot of other strong curry flavors, we have curry mango, we have aloo and chana, we have curry goat. My uncle suggested that we just do this so you can really taste the flavor of the pumpkin. So yeah. So I'm gonna let this cook down, add some water and reduce it. And then the next clip you guys see will kind of be us starting on the goat. Okay guys, so now we're here with the curry goat master, Uncle Tony, who's showing us how he makes it. Big, big titles. So first he did was crush up the pimento seeds and a little bit of oil. Garlic. Nice. And in a bowl, he has some betta pak curry mixed with a little bit of water. So this way when you add it, it doesn't burn. As well as the goat itself is seasoned with a little bit of curry powder too. So back over here. Okay, so now the garlic and pimento has been caramelizing slash burning in the pot, releasing all the flavors. That's right. Oh, that smell. Ah, oh, the smell. <laughs> Yeah, to get us some antics. Oh, that smell. You need a new kettlebell. 
No, I have a little bit of this one. Yes, you have a little bit of this one. Okay. Nice, so we're going to let this cook down a little bit yeah. before we toss in the gold and brown that up. And now for the masterpiece. <laughs> so this is our goat that we seasoned with our TNT aprons seasoning, which we also added some curry powder to that, and that's been marinating in the fridge for about two and a half hours. And now this is being added to our little mixture here of the curry that's cooked down with some pimento and garlic. How many pounds? How many pounds of goat is this? Five pounds. Goat looks good, Kingsley. I would freeze that. So this is about three pounds of goat here that we're actually cooking up. And our pumpkin is still boiling away. It's nice and mashed down. We just want it to dry out a bit. This is really good pumpkin. Okay. This goat is looking really good. It smells amazing. Okay. So the heat's on high, guys. Does that help brown it and dry out the curry a bit? No, actually, what's going to happen is that this goat is going to spring water. Okay. I put nothing in this. This is going to spring water, and then it's going to cook down. So almost like it's braising. Okay. Then you add more water to it. Okay. And by the time the second portion of the water goes down, yeah. Then you add the other ingredients that only go in at the end. So stick around. Stick around guys, you hear that? From the master himself, so we'll be back. Okay, so Uncle Tony let the goat um, cook down a bit. We took the lid off of it to let all the liquid that was in it evaporate, so he already added water. So once the liquid evaporated and became more dry, he added enough liquid to cover the goat, so now it's braising. So it's gonna come back up to a boil. It's gonna boil for a bit longer. After that, he's gonna turn down the heat to about medium. Let the liquid reduce to about half, and that way the goat will be super, super tender. So when we come back, this goat will be almost done. Our pumpkin is still getting soft here, and well, it's soft, it's just drying out. And our aloo and chana has been done, and it's just chilling. We also have curry mango that we bought, already prepared, which is amazing. So once all this is done, you guys will see the full spread. So all I've done now is I've added some coconut milk, and I've put a hot pepper on the top and I'm going to allow that coconut milk to infuse the muscle of the meat. Nice. So it's going to be good. Hey guys, so now we're going to get into this delicious curry goat dinner. Yeah, so I'll recap again. We have some paratha here, curry mango, we have pumpkin, aloo and chana, potato and chickpeas and the curry goat. And my baby, hashtag sponsor me. Alright, let's give this a try now. So the master chef, Uncle Tony, made the goat. Let me try it. Bruh. Bruh. Yo. Bro, the curry. Uncle Tony, shout out to you. Because this curry goat is really, really good. The coconut milk makes it nice and rich and creamy. And again, the coconut milk helps break down the goat. So it's not like gamey at all, it's nice and tender. Now the aloo channel, which I made. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. This is probably the best aloo channel I've ever made, to be honest. No cap. That's really, really fucking good. Okay. Now the pumpkin. Nice and sweet with the hint of jira. Cumin. I didn't put curry in the pumpkin this time. I normally do, but... I just put a little bit of cumin in it. Now my favorite, to be honest, is the curry mango. Mm. I was gonna make the mango myself and I'm happy that I did it. Because honestly, this is really good and probably better than I can make it right now. I need another piece of this goat though. Come in and let's see what this goat's talking about. Mm-hmm. Give you guys a better piece here. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Some people like boneless though, but I honestly prefer to go on the bone and add some more flavor to it. Mm -hmm. This is so good. I will put the links for where we got the roti skin, for where we got the curry mango. And I will probably do a separate video on how to cook this curry goat because I have some left. So yes, come in again and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for tuning in. So this is my third Trini food vlog. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share with all your family and friends. This is Eating with Aldine. Peace.